The person on the right is performing the role of Utsitachi, that is, the person initiating the technique. The one on the left is Tsukaide, or Shitachi, that is, the person performing the technique. First, Ichi no Tachi. We will view the action from the Shitachi side. As the opponent attacks the face, Shitachi evades to the side and cuts the opponent's wrist from below. Then the opponent attacks Shitachi's wrist from above. Shitachi parries the cut with his sword and attacks the opponent's face. Now the last kata of Omote Tachi, it is called Ryu no Ha no Tachi. Ryu is willow and ha is a leaf. one can seize the opponent at the beginning of the technique is considered to mean that he has succeeded in making an initial attack against the opponent. First, kataginu. This is one of the basic holds of the seven basic tori techniques. There the hand holding the sword has already been switched to the left hand. This is one of the characteristics of our school. Were you able to see the change of hands? If a bushi took an ukemi like this, wearing a sword, he was completely helpless. His own sword prevented him from further movement. On the contrary, a torikata could take back falls freely because he did not carry a sword. That was why this special kachu ukemi was invented. The situation here is supposed to be that a villain starts attacking the feudal lord or other people inside the castle. Inside the castle, it was forbidden to draw one's sword because once a sword was drawn, things would certainly get bloody. The first technique was controlling the opponent by attacking his foot. The next one is an attack to the opponent's hand. <laughs> 